John Schneider's future has been revealed, and he's here to stay, according to GM Ross Atkins, just a, just a couple of minutes after getting thrown under the bus by him. So we'll break that down on this episode of Jay's Digest, as well as more details coming out on the collapse that was the Toronto Blue Jays season. So we'll have that and much more coming up next. What's up, Jays fans? I'm your host, Peter Vriones, alongside host Nick Goss. And uh, more shocking details are coming out here. Just a couple minutes after throwing John Schneider under the bus, Ross Atkins reveals that he's going to be back for the 2024 season and that he's here to stay. Uh, fresh off of signing a three-year deal prior in, in the offseason prior, he's going to be here for the long haul, according to GM Ross Atkins. And frankly, uh, frankly, uh, I don't know if I want Ross Atkins here for the long haul after those comments. I was not happy with what I heard out of him in that press conference, but it is what it is. And he also revealed some more details as to why the Blue Jays seemingly just collapsed on Wednesday against the Minnesota Twins. But Nick, more bombshells getting dropped as the minutes roll along here. And I mean, I, I just don't know what to make of it. it it's... um. It's shocking, it's disappointing, and it's kind of expected as well out of this Blue Jays team. Yeah, what a way to kickstart a Thanksgiving weekend for all the you know Canadians out there and does uh, some yeah, just crazy stuff. And we kind of alluded if you checked our video earlier today, this was before we realized that John Schneider was returning. We kind of alluded how it could kind of go either way. Before we get into that, quick reminder, 71% of you guys aren't subscribed, and me and Peter have been grinding daily videos. So if you love Jay's content, make sure to hit that button. Now, Peter, let's get into it here. This is the you know the highlight of the the video, and then we'll also go into some of the other crazy details that he revealed about how his team eh, went on to collapse. So Peter Ross Atkins says John Schneider will return as the Blue Jays manager in 2024. The rest of the staff is unknown right now. Obviously, we know Luis Rivera retired, so everyone else, the bench coach Dave Hudgens, Guillermo Martinez, I hope doesn't come back, but all those guys are up in the air. But in a weird press conference where if you checked out earlier today's earlier video, Ross Atkins called out John Schneider as blunt as you can. In the same hour-long, whatever it was, 45-minute interview or press conference, he announces that he will be returning. The weirdest thing I've ever seen. If Jays are trying to stay under the radar and stay out of, you know, media fire, they're doing a horrible job at it. What are your thoughts on this news that John Schneider's returning? Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, okay, if it was his call and it worked out the way that it did. Ross Atkins actually said it did work out because the Jays gave up two runs and uh, they gave themselves a chance in that ball game. But I don't understand it because from my perspective, it seemed as though the team was dejected the minute that that happened. And it seemed as though they kind of took themselves out of the game. Uh, mental errors followed, lack of clutch hitting followed, although that was kind of the season, uh, the, the story of the season, I should say. But yeah, I don't think it was the right move at all. There's any way you slice it. And if it wasn't Ross Atkins' decision, if it was John Schneider's decision, I would expect that he would have not even be let back onto the team plane after that game. But he'll be back for next year. So uh, <laughs> there's your silver lining if you're if you're John Schneider. It just doesn't make sense to me, Nick. I I was shocked by what I heard, and, and I can't say it enough. It's just a bad look for your leader to go out there and call your coach out for a decision that ultimately we just were going to keep dwelling on over the offseason. But, yeah, did it cost them the game? Maybe. Did, uh, did the zero runs also contribute to that? Yes. So for him to answer these questions in this manner and, and to not take any sort of accountability because you got to believe that Ross Atkins has his fingertips on some of these decisions that are made on the field. And I just don't believe that it was solely John Schneider's call to make. I don't want to believe it because that would just be ridiculous. And Nick, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked because this is not something that you could be doing as a leader, and it's just a bad look for everybody. Yeah, and again, this tweet came out, and ultimately, like you just said, like it's just the weirdest possible day we could have imagined as Jays fans, as fans of the team. You don't see this happen for many organizations, and usually, you know, Mark Shapiro and Ross Atkins, Peter, as you know, unlikable as some they may be, or as you know, people don't like them, they're usually decent and pretty good at speaking to the media. This is very far away from what Ross Atkins usually does regarding him calling out John Schneider and then saying that he's going to be back as manager makes sense because they probably don't want to admit their failure of manager signings two years in a row. But I also, you know, 
show some empathy for John Schneider, who uh, was thrown under the bus, and whether it was his decision or not, the fact that he's coming back, I don't think he's going to reveal if it was Ross Atkins' decision, because obviously he wants to, you know, maintain his job, but Peter crazy stuff and uh, we can still talk about that but let's also go into some of the other quotes that ross atkins said because he had a few heaters here in a, in a bad way per se so peter i'm going to start with this one now with all the talks about analytics and what kind of you know we were all thinking that analytics drove this team you know too far to the wall when they pulled you know jose brios he went on to say quote we've eared on the side of too little information on how they help players on game planning and i'm assuming this was in response to someone calling him out for overuse of analytics so he is just going right at all these claims. He was, over the past three days, looking at the media, looking at the articles, hearing everyone saying, gathering up his thoughts, and then was ready to go absolutely crazy at everyone and come back with the facts. Peter, I know you're kind of off the Ross Atkins train at this point. I'm sure 95% of you in the comment section watching this video are off the Ross Atkins train. I still like the guy as a general manager to a degree, but today has swung my opinion a little bit. Peter, eared on the uh, side of too little information from him. I've lost all respect for Ross Atkins after this presser today. And I, I thought he was a great um, front office uh, executive. I, I thought he was a fantastic general manager. And I thought he pulled the right strings last offseason. But after these 45 minutes of just spewing garbage that I just heard out of Ross Atkins, I've lost all respect for him as Jim. And he's not the guy to lead this team. He's not the guy to lead this team. That is the conclusion that I've come to here. And yeah, okay, you've eared on the side of too little information. That's just not true. You traded uh, a two-time Silver Slugger winner for a reliever. I think that was a good trade. You you tried to build your team on, on how many defensive runs saved you could accumulate. That's how you tried to build this team heading into 2023, and it backfired. You didn't have a backbone offensively. Great, you could pitch and you could play defense, but you couldn't muster up two runs in a in a eighteen inning uh, playoff window. It, it it was ridiculous. The roster construction, I thought it was good. I thought it was fine heading into the season, but clearly something needed a change. And Ross Atkins didn't make a change at the deadline. He just added to what was already good on the team. He didn't decide to go out there and make the offense any better. He didn't overexert some of his assets to go out there and uh, and add to what was an already pretty talented team. He didn't do enough. He didn't do enough. He saw he was watching that team in the entire first half and decided that this was the team that was going to go far in the playoffs. He fell flat on his face. I mean, he didn't build the right team. He didn't say the right things at the end of the season. And now he just looks foolish. You could talk about John Schneider all you want, but I think no one looks stupider in the Blue Jays organization than Ross Atkins right now. And I think this is him trying to save his job. I think this is him um, kind of saying that John Schneider is going to be back because he knows that he did have his fingertips on this. And, uh, I don't know. He's kind of appeasing Mark Shapiro in that sense. And just, just terrible, terrible, terrible. I don't know how else to slice it here, but like I said earlier on in that bit, I lost all respect for Ross Atkins. And I think he's the first one that needs to go when the Blue Jays make their off season overhaul in a, in a few weeks. Yeah. And there's kind of two different ways you can look at it. Uh, you can be on the side of Ross Atkins and it, regarding, you know, if it was John Schneider's decision, then you think, you know, John Schneider should be fired. That is the case. I don't know exactly what, you know, positive gain Ross Atkins gets from publicly calling him out at least say it was a collaborative process or something of those words that ross atkins usually says but a couple other tidbits here before i wrap up and let you guys you know enjoy the rest of your you know weekend and in a crazy day the craziest blue jays day i can remember in a while really just with all the news that's broken and peter you sent me this and it's very very interesting so this was jeff passan's kind of thought in the collapse he said you guys have seen this coming for six months and it still exceeded expectations for how bad it was and well said, that was in the Blair and Barker show. I mean, he, he hit the nail on the head. I mean, I was I had low expectations coming in. We stayed optimistic. We thought that maybe the Jays had a chance, and they just completely fell flat on their face, like you said. And now to see Ross Atkins come out and say some of this stuff is, uh, is crazy. And like I said, conversation about the rest of the staff is ongoing. The strategy was one that in the end was effective because only allowed gains in gate two. Makes absolutely no sense. Not only is that kind of objectively false, yeah, only two runs, but Jose Brios, there's a higher chance of him giving up less than two runs in the rest of the game than there was of Yusei Kikuchi coming. I'm uh, I'm off the, the train for at least right now. It made no sense to me, Peter. I know you're very, very stern right now on Ross Atkins, but like to me, 
I don't really know where they go from here. Obviously, Josh Snyder's coming back. Ross Atkins probably isn't going to lose his job. So we're just going to run it back with the same manager, same GM after this. Who knows? Maybe John Schneider resigns. Yeah. Who, who knows? Stuff will happen over the next week, two weeks, months, up until, you know, the regular season starts. But I want the team, after, you know, this hopefully boils down, to focus on improving the team and less about calling out our other managers. But any final thoughts before we wrap up? What's been a crazy day? This is what we can't have happen. We can't have um, just the same team and, and run it back. Obviously, the player personnel is going to be different naturally because some guys are free agents and they're going to look for opportunities elsewhere. But the, a big problem was some of the coaching staff, some of the approach on the team, and and a lot of the approach in the front office as well. They just didn't do an adequate job to support the talent that was available on this team. You could talk about the underperformances all you want. Obviously, Vladdy wasn't the Vladdy that we all know and love. Bo, to a certain extent as well, underperformed. He was under his career numbers. And those are the two guys that are supposed to be the driving forces for this Blue Jay team. And they came up short. They came up well short of those expectations that have been set on them going into the season. But a big part of the problem was also the coaching staff, and it was also the front office. And for them to just run it back with that same exact group over there with the same exact core players, it's just not the right thing to do, man. And uh, it's it, we're going to – it's insanity at this point. You're, you're running into a wall expecting a different – result every year and it's just not changing it, it, it looks the same year in year out and if you run it back with the same front office we're going on uh, i think seven or eight years now that ross atkins has yep. been here seven. what is what has he done what has he done to change the narrative he's done nothing so they got to be better in all facets of the game and that all starts from the top with your general manager and it trickles down to the coaching staff and if they go with the same guys, then I think we're we're set up for another long season and then another off season of many questions if nothing changes. Yeah, and hopefully that uh, you know that changes going into the, hopefully some changes happen. Whether that's on the personnel front, whether that's on the players, whether whatever, I'm expecting some big changes, and hopefully that is the case. Let's wrap up the video. Your guys' sports been unbelievable. We've been pumping out tons of videos, and uh, Peter Russ Atkins. Just gave us a lot more stuff to talk about over the coming days. So stay tuned for that. If you want to check out our video from earlier today of Ross Atkins calling out John Schneider and was probably the craziest video we've made in a while. Click it. It's on your screen right now. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.